Yo, welcome to day six. We've accomplished a lot in the past four days, but it's time to organize my life, figure out our next steps for the next time we go out into the field, and hopefully hit up some awesome people that we've met. But the first problem is it's about 1.30, and I haven't got anything to eat today. <laughs> As basic as avocado toast is, that was super dope. I have these colored cutting boards. They come in packs of four, bought them with a gift card, and I highly recommend. It's dual purpose, man. One moment you're cutting, chopping, whatever, and the next moment, bam. But editing a photo out of your kitchen on an old phone with the intent that you're going to put it on your portfolio just seems wrong. But it's so, so right. It's just a different vibe, man. I'm super stoked with the results and even more stoked about this new tool that we get to use for product photography. Anyways, I started today designing my new business cards. Simple, black and white, and straight to the point. I know I said I was going to order the business cards, but now I can officially do that. I added my own personal domain email, so it'll be case at mydomain.com. It was a much longer process than I thought, but I'm glad we're all set up. After a sweet promo code, tax, shipping, you're looking at about $30 for a hundred of these. And yeah, we're tracking money now because I fell off the deep end, man. I did myself so dirty in just the stupidest way possible. This is exactly why I tell you I'm disorganized, and pretty reckless with my plans, my execution. <sighs> God. So a couple videos ago, I told you that I was going to sign up for a seven day free trial of Adobe Premiere. But if I open up my account and try to cancel my seven day free trial, there's a $115 cancellation fee that that I could have avoided. So that's $130 for the Adobe early termination fee, $30 for business cards, four bags of coffee between days two and three, which is probably about another 60 bucks, and then all of the craft supplies. We're looking at $270 down the drain, and it's only day six. And the best part is, we haven't made a penny yet. Not one penny. What the actual It's way later than I expected. We did eventually get the business cards ordered, but since then we had nice dinner, came back home, got the lighting set up for the video. Thought the video was gonna be done tonight, but it's not. <laughs> <sighs> so imagine waking up to this in your living room. Also imagine getting to bed at midnight only to realize three hours later that you're actually not tired and you haven't got a wink of sleep. Stayed up till 6.30 organizing my notepad on my phone and shopping for a car that I wasn't gonna buy. Ah, good old insomnia, man. It happens to the best of us. I mean, I would bet that 270 that you would also lose sleep over trying to be a professional photographer with a phone. With a phone, man. Like, who does that, man? I question myself every single day. Like, what the heck am I doing? This is bizarre. This is out of control. But the craziest part is, it's actually working. But this last couple days got me thinking, is this really ideal to bring two lamps, two suitcases, one step ladder, and one footstool to a photo shoot in the middle of a wine bar in public? Maybe not the best, but that's definitely the plan. So yeah, I'm still staying true to this challenge. I'm not gonna use any of my gear, at least any of my expensive gear. I mean, the point of that rule number one was to get out and do something with the least amount of gear possible without derailing my plans. Well, I think I'm gonna bend that rule ever so slightly. We have a $5 ring light that we're gonna add to the repertoire of stuff that we're gonna bring on site. And we're going to add a voice recorder and a mic. Voice recorder is about 40 bucks. The mic is about 40 bucks. If you wanna build a business, just don't buy the most expensive gear. And and work with what you got. But this is not me asking for permission. I just, I did it already. So, game plan for today, which is everything we did not do yesterday.
cut and it is boom. So it's the third day in this vlog. We have to edit, we have to set up the LLC, but I'm kind of kind of distracted right now. I'm actually very, very distracted right now. So you know that feeling when you're home alone and you feel this presence, you feel it watching you and you have no control over what's gonna happen next. That's not nice. That is big. That's like half dollar big. I hate spiders too and this thing was like dude way bigger than a half doll i don't even know what the heck man i guess the abdomen was a little bit smaller but the legs man the legs on these things dude i so the game plan is we've already filmed ourselves in a fake interview the goal is to make somewhat of a fake product for this specific location they didn't ask for this we haven't been working together yet but this will give me something to show them say hey this is how our interview could look like and hopefully that will start a conversation with them to where we can do future business in the future future business in the future i gotta read a book man or something can you not tell that i'm a proficient public speaker by now like i edit so many mistakes out it's insane hey alexa define proficient So winding down the day, but the work is not done. It's never done. The example video is done though. So what's next on the list, let's hit up, uh, get the email ready and start building the website. But see, that's my problem. I literally told you we are winding down the day. I should be not working anymore. But what I've learned to be grateful for, which is a big list of things, one of which is working in a corporate job for as long as I have and learning how how to design a very well-crafted email. All right, sending the first email now. Three, three, two, one. Ah, oh. <laughs> gotta write down the email addresses first. Yeah, after eight years, I still forget to put the names of the people. The email addresses, live and learn, but sometimes you don't learn. Last time, promise. Three, two, one, send. All right. Let's see what they have to say. I'll be sure to keep you updated. <laughs> but the biggest takeaways that I have and have to hold close to my chest, I have to make this product photography thing work. It's what I can control. It's the best way that I could probably make money from my phone, but also transition that into video as soon as possible, if not right now. Video is just what I love to do the most. And if I can start a business and not make a reputation for product photography, but have a bigger reputation for video and I can do product photography on the side, that would be ideal. But how do we get there? I don't know yet. I just have to do the things. So yeah, I guess that's it. I'm gonna be still working behind the scenes, but this is as entertaining as I can be in one room. <sighs> what a roller coaster. And I still did not find that. Sp Ugh. Oh.